katu kabing ko, magadet sa ngaw, marimi magapot yao gali ng umang mabisita kani Our Lady of Piat. In Nuestra Señora de Piat, nasikan ng mga ufun at mga italak kang mi nga pinarato kanya mundo. Arika kurug akagayano, no arika nga deboto na yena tamgamin. Ano arika makitaful tamaski ni Tanta Tola. There is one place in Cagayan that truly defines the Cagayano and his virtues and aspirations, where for centuries, peoples of all walks of life have made sacrifices to visit. Perched atop a hill in the town of Piat Cagayan, overlooking the vast river plains of the Itawes, stands the Basilica Shrine of Nuestra Señora de la Visitación de Piat. old sculpture of the Blessed Virgin Mary holding the child Jesus with dark features. The Spaniards called her Muy Morena or Very Brown. Thus, she became known as Brown Madonna of Cagayan Valley. She is called by with many names, yet most affectionate is Apo Baquet or simply Santa Maria. The image was brought to the Philippines from Macau in 1604 first in the Dominican Mother Church in Santo Domingo, which at that time was located in Intramuros in Manila. However, the people of Manila wanted a fair-skinned image of the Blessed Mother. Thus, the dark-skinned image of Our Lady of the Rosary was sent to Ciudad Nueva Segovia. It was enthroned at the Dominican Church in Bagumbayan, the present parish church of Lalo. The image of Our Lady was brought to Itawes region in order to aid in the evangelization of the Itawes. Her presence catapulted the missionary efforts. It could be said that her brown complexion helped win the hearts of not only the Itawes, but the entire Cagayan Valley. In 1622, Fray Juan de Santa Ana brought the image to Tuguegarao and replaced it with a replica. The people of Piat opposed the move as a result, the image of Our Lady remained in Piat, where it still resides to this day. Through the many years, the image is always visited in her shrine and many miracles were attributed to her intercessions. In recognition to her miracles and the devotion by the people, Pope Leo XIII granted indulgences to the faithful under the usual conditions to those who make a visit or make pilgrimage to her sanctuary. She was canonically crowned by the Apostolic Nuncio, Monsignor Egidio Vagnocci, on June 20, 1954, at the patio of the St. Peter's Cathedral in Tuguegarao. The event was attended by people from all walks of life. Pope John Paul II granted the elevation of the shrine to a minor basilica. On June 22, 1999, the Pope sent Antonio Maria Cardinal Javier Hortas, Prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments in the Vatican to inaugurate through the celebration of the Mass, the new Basilica of the Our Lady of Piat, the first and only in the Cagayan Valley region. In 2004, the devotees celebrated the 400th anniversary of the arrival of the image in the Philippines with Francesco Cardinal Marquesano as papal envoy. 
Archbishop Antonio Franco, Papal Nuncio to the Philippines, reenacted the canonical coronation of the image of the Our Lady of Piat. The throngs of devotees coming in from all corners of the world allows the Church to strengthen its social mission to effect change and social justice just as Jesus did during His earthly ministry. I have served Our Lady of Piat for nine years. She is a source of hope for many of us, not just spiritually, but even literally. The Basilica helped many people, not just in difficult times, but even in good ones. My devotion to Our Lady of Piat started 20 years ago, when I was starting to have field sorties. And it came about and it multiplied up to this present time. Without the help of the church, it would be difficult for my family to send me to a good school. I am one of the many lucky young people that Our Lady of Piat helps, not just as students, but our families to have a better future. Like beautiful children, we do our best to support the Basilica and its many projects and initiatives. The church plays a huge role in effecting social change, including the lives of the faithful. And we do what is in our power to help out whatever it may be. The proceeds of the gift shop here goes to the retirement and hospital fund for the old priests of the Archdiocese. The candles, on the other hand, help fund our scholarship program. Everything goes to charity. The Basilica also supports Pope Francis' call to care for the environment by doing their share in various ecological programs. The Basilica caters not only to the spiritual needs of the pilgrims, but also to their physical needs and cultural formation through the services offered by the Basilica Pilgrims Inn and Museum. Today, devotion at the Basilica of Our Lady of Piat burns brighter than ever and had now spread to almost all continents. Wherever the Cagayanos have gone, they have brought their love for Our Lady and spread it to all corners of the globe. Her majestic shrine reflects her splendor. Piat has always been in the heart of the affections of the Cagayanos and for many people around the world. Although the first priority is always the spiritual welfare of our people and environment conducive to worship is also very important. The church grounds is more than just a tourist attraction. It is a place of prayer, of refuge, and where one can feel at peace. Our Lady deserves a shrine fit for the Queen that she is, not only for the valley, but for all devotees coming in from all over the Philippines and the world. A new parish church of Santo Domingo now also stands beside the shrine. For many years, the shrine and the parish church coexisted in the present site of the basilica. Since her arrival in Piat in 1620, up to this day, Our Lady of Piat remains to be a foundation of Cagayan faith, piety, and resilience. Her shrine stands as a shining beacon of hope for many, far and wide and her maternal care and intercession, an anchor sure and steady in a fast-changing world. Thankful for the gift of faith and the maternal intercessions of Our Lady of Piat, her children celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines in 2021 and the 400 years of the erection of the Shrine of Piat in 2023. Yena Tamngamin, mother to us all, continue to journey with us and bring us to Jesus.
O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly and the special grace to die in God's love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Señor Santo Niño de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith. As we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of your miraculous image on our shores, we humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Señor Santo Niño de Cebu, have mercy on us. <laughs>